from the Lakeside Newsroom of the Henrico Citizen, your hometown news source since 2001. This is the Henrico News Minute with publisher Tom Lapis. A local group is raising money in its fight to encourage local school systems to reopen full time in the fall. And a number of new tax laws take effect today. We'll have details about those stories and more in today's Henrico News Minute for Wednesday, July 1st. It's brought to you today by Henrico Area Mental Health. And now for the news. Today is the last day this week for county residents to pick up meals for students and anyone 18 or younger from Henrico County Public Schools 14 grab and go meal distribution sites. The school system will be closed tomorrow for the 4th of July weekend and is closed each Friday during the summer. You can stop by one of the locations and pick up meals for today, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday if you choose. Sites are open from 11 a.m. to noon. Visit HenricoCitizen.com and click on Education to look for this article and a link to those distribution sites. The four mobile technology hubs that the school system is operating also will be on a holiday schedule, closing after today. They'll be open for laptop repairs and other technology issues until 10.30 today and then will reopen on Monday. The school system's hotline, 501-5655, also will be closed tomorrow and Friday, but will resume its normal summer hour schedule on Monday from 8.30 to 4. Today is the beginning of a new fiscal year, both for Henrico County and for the state of Virginia. A number of new tax laws are among those that will take effect beginning today. They include the creation of the new Central Virginia Transportation Authority starting in October. An additional seven-tenths of a percent sales tax will be administered in Henrico and other regional localities to fund the program. Money will be used for transportation projects in the region. You can read more at HenricoCitizen.com about some other tax laws that take effect today statewide. An employee at the Virginia Employment Commission's headquarters in Henrico has tested positive for COVID-19, the fourth such employee to do so. The agency will shut its office at 6606 West Broad Street temporarily to allow for a thorough cleaning of the facility, according to the Richmond Times-Dispatch. Most of the 350 or so employees who work there have been working remotely already. They'll all do so while the cleaning takes place. It's the same method that the agency has used for the other three positive cases. Unemployment claims will continue to be processed. The only impact could be to those who receive a paper check. They may experience a slight delay, according to the agency, as told to the Times-Dispatch. But only a fraction of 1% of all claims processed fit that category. A locally based group calling itself Choices for Virginia Schools has mobilized and is attempting to raise $10,000 to hire legal counsel in an attempt to encourage school districts locally and statewide to open full time to students this fall. The group so far has raised about $4,100 from 63 donors. In a GoFundMe message, the organizers of the group say that the funds that they raise will be used to obtain assistance from the Troutman Sanders law firm to engage policymakers and explore possible legal options that are included but not limited to requiring school boards to meet publicly rather than virtually and ensuring that all Virginia students receive equal educational opportunities. The money also would be used to fund startup costs for the nonprofit, including state filing fees and application to the IRS and website costs. A statewide Facebook group called Back to School Virginia has more than 20,000 members, most of whom are advocating for a full-time school option this fall. A top Highland Springs football recruit has narrowed his potential list of college destinations to 10. Springer's defensive end Kelvin Gilliam is considered the number four prospect in the state of Virginia. He has trimmed his list to Oklahoma, Penn State, Virginia Tech, Minnesota, Texas, Florida, South Carolina, LSU, California, and Kentucky. Gilliam is 6'3", 250 pounds, and is also considered close to a top 100 prospect in the nation. 
A number of Henrico and Richmond area House of Delegates members will gather on a Zoom meeting tonight at 7 p.m. to discuss a variety of topics. Henrico delegates Lamont Bagby, Skyler Van Valkenburg, and Rodney Willett are among those who are expected to participate in the event, which is being hosted by Delegate Don Adams of Richmond, whose district also includes a small portion of Henrico. You can register online to watch the discussion. To find that link, visit HenricoCitizen.com and click on Government. And a reminder to check out our other podcast, Today in Henrico, for a series of brief conversations with Henrico newsmakers. Today, our Tara Gray speaks with American Heart Association Executive Director Michelle Nostheide. You can listen to the podcast by visiting HenricoCitizen.com and clicking under Podcasts and then Today in Henrico. As we all strive to do our part during this extraordinary time, Henrico Area Mental Health serves as your local and public mental health agency continuing to do its part. We all experience mental health challenges, especially during extreme challenging times. It doesn't matter your age, gender, race, or ethnicity. Each person is affected differently. If you're a resident of Charles City, New Kent, or Henrico counties, and you, a family member or friend, or someone you know, may need someone to talk to about the mental health challenges being experienced. Do your part and call us at 804-727-8515. That's 804-727-8515. We're here to help. Remember, mental health is good health. Call Henrico Area Mental Health at 804-727-8515. That number again is 804-727-8515. This message comes to you from Henrico County CSB Prevention Services.